Good morning, Mr. Turner. Morning, Sir Billy Gussie. Good day, Delighted you, Billy. you could join us. Damn fine spectacle this year, Billy. Mm -hmm. Aha! Mm. <laughs> Very fine day to you, Mr. Stoddart! <laughs> Mr. Turner, sir! <laughs> Welcome to Kermode Uncut. The London Film Festival is on at the moment and one of the interesting things about the London Film Festival being at this time of year is it coincides with what's generally regarded to be the beginning of awards season. So quite often you get to see movies at the LFF that are then going to be big awards contenders. Just this morning I saw the new Mike Lee film Mr Turner with an extraordinary central performance by Timothy Spall as Turner the Artist. Now, I'm a big Timothy Spall fan anyway, but even as somebody who's always held him in enormously high regard, I thought he was wonderful in Topsy Turvy, for example, Mr Turner is a whole oh, new green, level right? of great. Yeah. The magnificent thing about the performance is you get everything. You get light, you get yeah. dark. He's very gruff, he's Stop artistically nice inspired, and yet somehow his, his words are very simple. That A large section of the dialogue is in fact Tim Spall growling. I, I can't do justice to it, but he manages to get more emotion into the phrase <sighs> than any actor I've ever seen. Now, as far as I'm concerned, it's an awards-worthy performance. And I was just having a look on the internet to see how he was doing in terms of the sort of odds for the awards coming up. It turns out that at the moment, he's not tipped to lead the pack as far as the Oscars are concerned. As you probably know, he won the award for Best Actor at the Cannes Film Festival. But at the moment, it looks like the bookies are backing, well, perhaps Benedict Cumberbatch for his role in Imitation Game. Steve Carell has got a lot of interest for his extraordinary role in Foxcatcher. I've seen Foxcatcher, and it's very good. I have to say, for the, the first 10, 15 minutes of the performance, I didn't even realize I was watching Steve Carell. And of course, Michael Keaton is being very hotly tipped for Birdman, which I haven't seen, but I'm looking forward to. But on the evidence of what I've seen so far, my money would be on Tim Spall because the performance is so extraordinary. It's a historic figure, it's a true life figure that often tends to impress awards judges, but most importantly, it's Tim Spall doing something that no other actor could do. Obviously, working with Mike Lee, we, we tend to see actors getting the very best. But in terms of this performance, it's breathtaking. It's a long film, it's two and a half hours long. You never feel that you need it to end. You get tragedy, you get laughter, you get scabrous humour. People forget just how funny Mike Lee's films are and just how funny Tim Spall can be, even with an underlying air of tragedy. Now, I know it's very early and I know I haven't seen the other films in contention with the exception of Foxcatcher, but right now, and regardless of what the bookies say, I'm backing Tim Spall. The universe is chaotic, and you make us see it. You are a man of great vision, Mr. Turner. 